Hi there, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create animated videos like this using Canva. So, I'm going to walk you through everything. So, just watch the video, I'm going to show you how to create. So, you're going to create something like this. Okay, so let's jump right into it. So, I'm going to use Canva to create this. So, all I need to do is to sign up onto Canva. Then, I want to use a video. So, I'll just go to the video section and click on video. And then here I want to create a landscape video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. This is going to open a new page for me. All we need to do is to get a background. So I'm going to go to element. And here I want to just search for street. So just search for street. And then you can switch to the graphics tab. There's a lot of street over here that we can use. So you can just pick any of them. I'm going to pick this one. So this under one that you can just stretch to cover your entire page like this. So you can stretch it like this. You can stretch it to cover your entire screen like this. So you can add as many pages you want to create different scenes. So it all depends on the number of scenes you want to create. And then you can also enlarge the space. Okay. So you can increase the duration to whatever seconds you want. So this is my first scene. I can also go ahead and add another scene over here. So I can actually go ahead and add another street over here. So you can see there are several ones. So it all depends. If you want to add cars, human being walking, and people riding bicycles, you can actually do all that right here. So you can keep on adding it and also extend the duration of your scene. So here, assuming you want to add somebody walking across this street, you can actually do that. So we can go back to the element tab and then search for walking. So here we have to go back to the graphics tab and you can see there's a lot of animated people working over here you can filter this by clicking on the filter option here scroll down and then just make sure you select animated so this is actually going to give you image of animated cartoons or human being working so you can pick any of these images to represent your working so he i'm going to select this particular one and then i'm actually going to resize this so as you can see from here, the person is going to be walking. So this is animated, but the person is actually standing at one place. But we want the person to walk across the, the screen. So we need to make sure the person move along to the right hand side. So in order to do that, just go to animate. And then there's a new option here where you can create your custom animation. Make sure your image is selected and then click on create an animation and then just drag it through that path. So we're actually going to create that path like this across the screen. So if I leave this, you can see the person is going to walk across the screen like that. Okay. So this also, you can actually reduce the speed or actually increase the speed of the walking. So you can see here, the person appeared to be walking faster. We can actually reduce the speed also. And then we have over here, the smooth. If you want to make it smooth walking, you can actually do that as well. And then you can move around this there's so many other options you can add over here remember to subscribe if today is your first time watching my video so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials so we've created this scene if you decide to add more images you can do that if you want to add some sound effect or some street sound effect you can actually do that now we can move to the next scene over here and here we can decide to go to the same element tab and then add in more images so here i can still go for uh, riding riding a bike so here and then switch to the graphics tab and then I can actually get some animated one so you can easily filter it by animated version of this images so I prefer to go with this so I'm gonna select this and then just bring it here so you can see I want this rider to ride across the screen so I'm gonna use the same method here and then I can just drag this back like this it's not going to appear completely off screen but i want it to appear entry the street so i'm going to click on animate and then use this option again and then i'm going to drag this across the screen like this yes so this is it and then you can see it's working across the screen you can actually increase the speed here so the speed here right here you can increase the speed so you can see it appear the person is moving faster than it was so here we can add more i can still go for walking i can really easily go for walking again and then i can look for maybe probably get somebody walking i can easily filter this 
really go there and then select animation and then even though i have bicycle moving around i can also get somebody walking in the opposite direction so you can see here i have somebody walking here i can actually add the person as well so i'm going to reduce this and then probably put the person somewhere here put the person somewhere here and then go to animate and then create my animation path So here the person is actually going to walk across the screen like this okay so you can actually reduce the speed so that the person will appear to be going slower than the bike so the bike will go faster than that you can actually improve on this and make sure this go perfect but i want to add more images and then i want to add another one here i want to add another person so you can see people walking in different different directions so i'm going to place another one here so another person walking on the pavement and then I'll go to the animate option and then create a custom animation like that. So I'm going to have another person working like this across the screen. So now you can see we're going to have so many people working across the screen. And then you can even go to element and then just type. You can just type city and then when you type city, you can actually go to the audio version. If you go to audio, you're going to have so many. You can see city and ambience rooftop it's going to give you some sound effect amazing sound effect you can actually put behind your videos so when i click over here you can see it's going to add some sound effect behind my clip just like that my animation so you can do that and then between two scenes you can actually go between that and then click here and then add some transition i prefer to use the match and move transition for this so it's going to give me something like this. if i play this you see what is going to happen so it's going to play this and then once this ends I can actually move to another scene like that you can see how this is moving so we can have several uh, several so we can have several screen or several streets and add different different animation in there like that so you can animate this create your own version and even if you want to add voiceover you can do that if you want me to do a talking animated video then let me know at the comment section i'm going to do a video on that and demonstrate to you how to do animated video for kids and other amazing content just like this subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my amazing video tutorial so when you are done with everything when you are done with everything all you have to do is to go to share just go to share and then go to download and make sure this is set as mp4 and then you can download this you can download this onto your pc so if you download this you're going to have a video version of this you can play this as mp4 video and you can add video at the background like subscribe for more video tutorials like this and don't forget to turn on post notification and let me know a view about this video at the comment section till i come away again bye bye